Captain Tens, and this is an old fire station megaphone type of thing, and this is from the way back when, and here's the old stuff here. And Mike And we are with Mike Traxler, my apologies. And Mike, how are you? I'm doing well this morning. Thanks for coming by. Yeah, outstanding. We're happy to be here. Second show after the COVID break, and it's getting busier all the time. I think everybody's happy to be here. Oh, real happy. I think this is our about 20th year, except, of course, for the pause in the COVID year. Yeah. Wow. That's a long time. Yeah, indeed. So tell us a little bit about what you're doing here. This was this, the history of this company, because you saw me with the fire megaphone deal here from way back when. This has a history with the fire department and whatnot. Could you tell us a little bit about the founding of the company? Sure. The company is founded by a fireman in the St. Paul Fire Department, Ken Freiberg, and it was customary for each firefighter to have uh, a meal that he'd prepare for his other fellow fighter fighters, usually when they're on their 48-hour shifts. And Ken developed an oven-baked bean where he'd make it from scratch, taking the dry navy beans, soaking them overnight, then adding in the molasses, the brown sugar, bacon, other items, baking them slowly in his rotating oven, or in, in a commercial oven at the uh, firehouse. And finally, his buddies, after about 23 years, said, Ken, these are great. Uh, you should start a company. And by then, people from around the neighborhood in St. Paul, Minnesota, had come and asked, geez, can I get some of Captain Ken's oven baked beans? <laughs> and so he was encouraged by that. So soon after that, he wasn't ready to retire from the fire department, but he did get a stand, a food stand out at the Minnesota State Fair with a couple of other entrepreneurs. And he sold his beans and they did some other bacon and scrambled eggs. And the reception was good. And this was in 1963. So he did that on his vacation time during, during the, uh, that period. And then in 1967, at the age of 55, decided to retire early from the fire department take his pension money, and founded Captain Ken's. Oh, after retirement, yeah, of course. So starting a company when he, when a person's 55, uh, that's pretty incredible all by itself. And one kind of unique story, and the food safety people would probably scratch their heads and see, wonder how that ever happened. But at the time, after he started the business, he'd make the beans, he'd load them up in his station wagon, and then he'd go to the different delis at the grocery stores in town and talk to the frozen food or the manager of the deli and say, hey, I have some baked beans to sell. And so he'd sample them. They'd go, God, these are really good. Yeah, we'll buy some. And that's how he really got kick-started from a little uh, leased bakery that he was running his business out of. So a really awesome story. And Ken Freiberg was an awesome guy. It's a great piece of Americana there in entrepreneurship. Oh, 100%. Yeah, 100%. So we have some products here. Let's take a look at these here. Step back here a little bit. And, and if you could shoot that there, Laura, and um, tell us about what we've got here. Mac and cheese. So this is going out to restaurants around the country? Our clientele are restaurants, resorts, casinos, mm -hmm. uh, delis, uh, all anyone who sells uh pre-made food and yeah. it's quality made from scratch mm -hmm. and all of our products are pre-cooked packed frozen and they're ready to heat and serve yeah so it makes it great for all of the uh, operators who are maybe running a little short on uh, labor in the back kitchen and we offer quality consistency yeah. and once we a company can once an operator uses our product yeah. they can go ahead and specialize more in the menu, customer service, mm -hmm. marketing their business, yeah. and then less time ordering, well, making sure they have uh, ingredients that they're out of stock. It's delicious stuff. You've got baked beans in barbecue sauce, beef taco meat filling, Spanish rice, a lot of the stuff, mac and cheese, of course, popular, but wonderful. It's very tasty, and it, it does cut down on the time and production in restaurants great stuff oh absolutely and we have to come over here to our uh chilies as well yeah. we, we probably make uh, um a half dozen different chilies and this is uh we have an all-natural ingredient chili yeah this is our new uh pinto bean chili uh with roasted corn it looks and yummy delicious oh it's 
it to tastes, die for. It tastes even better. <laughs> and this is a vegetarian chili yeah. with multiple vegetables that we have. And it's, uh, I'm not a, a real vegetarian type person, but I really like this Every because it Every once in a while, has, it's okay. Oh, it, it's, it's excellent. Yeah, that is and good. all of our chilies are thick and hearty. We use a quality ground beef. And you can see the chunks of ground beef. This is all... Uh, oh, it looks, it looks amazing. It's, it tastes even better. Yeah. And then we have uh, another dozen products. So we switch out products during the course of the show and try to show as much different products as we can. But our cheesy hash browns, that's been a real popular new item at a lot of, uh, a lot of delis, uh, hot case bars. So our products have a lot of application in a lot of different uh, venues. And we also do have a, a retail line uh, where we sell many of these products yeah. retail in the grocery stores, okay. in the frozen food section. But this is a, a food service show, so we're really that's, not. That's principally your business, the food service. Yes, that's yeah. a majority of our business. Okay. So, and for a restaurant owner or <clears throat> chef who would like to order some of these products, they would go online to your website? And yeah, they would work with their distributor, and okay. we're through a number of broadline distributors okay. and uh, who carry our product. So we're a distributor-based company where we make the product, sell to the distributor, and then the distributor then redistributes sure. to the different operators who want to use our product. So they'll find Captain Ken's with their local food distributor, Cisco cool. and whatnot? Correct. Okay. Yes. Excellent. Well, sounds like a great program. I want to thank you very much for your time. Well, thank you very much for coming by and appreciate you uh, including us, uh, our ad in your magazine. And the, and the publication. And we're going to be on the Food Show channel as well. We're doing a big video on the whole show. And we're going to have you out there on social media. We'll get the word out for you. Well, very good. Thank you very much. Thank you. Okay.